Welcome back to my channel. This is uh, DIY with Jeannie, and I am Jeannie. If you are a first time, welcome. If you are coming back because you've seen this with the content before, welcome back. Today, what we are going to do is make a hanging dish towel for your kitchen. And there are so many different ones out there, and all of them generally use some sort of fastener a snap, a button, uh, Velcro, and I'm just not a huge fan. I, I've i done each of those. I've put buttons on. I've done buttonholes. And I can do all of it. I'm just not a fan of that type of towel. But I did find one that I really, really like. So we are going to make a hanging towel for my daughter-in-law and my son. And because they, she loves sunflowers. So here is our material. This is 7 and a half by 11. You cut it. And I iron it inside out in half and the reason I iron it is just to keep it in, in check. This piece I ironed in half and then I fold it in to the middle and it doesn't matter that it doesn't go all the way to the middle and you'll understand why but once this is the band that's going to hold our towel on to the stove handle or wherever you hang it. So fold it like this, iron it, and I'm going to stitch down along both edges and I'm going to go do that real quick and I will be right back. Okay, we're back. I have sewn the top and the bottom and where it is open, down here at the bottom, it's not really open, it's just double layer. It's not at the top because that was that one fold. So this is going to be the top. It's going to be this part of your towel. Now, what we are going to do first is we're going to go back and we are going to just tack down this piece. Just tack it down here at the top so that in a few minutes when I add the towel, nothing will move around on me. I'll be able to put this in and I'll show you how that works in just a minute. But we were able to put it in and start sewing the whole thing together. Now, while I'm in there tacking this down, I am also going to tack our towel down here so that it does not move on us either once we get started. So I'll be right back after I get this sewn together. Okay, I moved it in a little so that it has a little give and we want it to have a little bit of a little less tension, if you will, so that when we put our towel in it doesn't bunch. And I'll show you that when we finish. So we cut these strings off and I'll show you how I did the towel part. The towel part, um, I folded down a little more of the towel. I'm taking off part of this fold at the top. And I wanted to sew it first because it'll keep it nice and taut. But now I'm going to cut it off because I don't need all of that weight. on inside the hanger. So we're just gonna cut that towel part off because we don't really need it. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll this little guy up. We want him pretty small in there. And we're gonna center him in the middle of our little holder. See if we can get that a little bit better. Because I want it to really, really fit in there. Nice and snug. So tighten that up a bit. I'll put it inside. And then fold over. And I am going to sew all along the bottom. All along up one side. The other side I'm going to put in about here. And about here so that I leave an opening and the opening is for us to be able to pull it right side out. So let me go take care of this and I will show something show you something that I learned to help you not only pull it out but also when you go back to uh, close that seam. So I'll be back in just a second. I'm gonna sew from here down all the way across and up and then the amount of the band here. So I shall return. 
Okay, now it looks a lot like a little pillow. And you will see that I stitched down and then I stitched toward the outer edge. And there is a really good reason for that. And this is gonna be a booger to open, but it's like a little burrito. See, now I have this little tiny, tiny opening right here. And it is stitched up on both sides. And the reason you do that is when I pull this all out and turn it right side out, it is gonna want to turn that seam toward the outside, which is where we want it. So let's start pulling this guy out. Now that I got the towel out, just pull it and turn this right side out. And what's really kind of neat about it is that even without trimming those corners, I'm going to be able to pull them straight out because we put the band on. So we just pull that and now we just pull that band and it pulls that corner right out. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna sew around this whole back piece so that it gives it a nice finished edge. But before I do that, I am going to iron it so that I get some of these wrinkles that I put in it out. So let's we'll go back and iron it and then I will sew around and I will come and show you the finished project and I'll also show you the two pieces that are going to go with it. So I will be right back. And there we have it. That is our tablecloth, I mean our um, hand towel. Now, how does it work? So you flip this around to the back and you drape it over your oven or any handle, whatever, whatever handle you're going to put it on. Tuck the towel through that handle and pull down. And what happens is you have created this little bar that'll hang on your oven, just like that. And now it just goes on and off. And to grab it, to get it off, if you need it in a hurry, you just can grab it here and it will just pull right through and come off your hand. So that is how we made our little towel. And this one happens to be, the front and the back are interchangeable, so it doesn't really matter where that, that little slip is. Now, what I was gonna show you is the piece we're gonna make next time. I've altered the pattern a little bit because I'm not crazy about this one. These are individual finger mitts, and it will help you get things out of your microwave, out of the oven, but it gives you a little more dexterity. They call them little puppets. But I made these to go with this, and I will be making one more piece for this, which is the jar opener. And I'll be using, I think, this material and a um, rubber material on the back, and we'll go over that next time as well when we make these. So, Thank y'all for sticking around with me. Um, I do appreciate you. And if you have any questions, please let me know. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And any comments, what would you like to see? Do you want to just see kitchen things? Like I said, and I know a lot of my last video was not, the audio was not great. Uh, I had gotten a new microphone and it was not good. So I'm sending it back and I got a new one. So what we have coming up for 2022 is um, I am going to be redoing old clothing, uh, thrift store finds. I'll be using that just like a wood material and I'll be using it to make other things. I might be using it to make clothing. I might be using it to make items for the house. I might be using it to make little baskets for storage, but we shall see as that comes along. 
I also have some dust covers from Louis Vuitton and Chanel and other designers that I will be using to make shorts. Uh, that is the plan right now. I'm working on a pattern and I'll show you how I pattern as we do it because you know, a lot of people go, just make a pattern, and I have no idea what I'm doing. And so I will show y'all easy ways to make patterns so that things fit you and don't look like everybody else's. Um, and some things we'll be learning together. And I will also be making some little bags, pencil cases, makeup bags, little boxy bags, keychains, card wallets, and we will be doing that together as well. Sometimes you will see me on the sewing machine or on the serger. Um, sometimes it'll be like I did today. And we will still be doing paper crafts. We're gonna do more of these little journals, uh, more of the um, tags to go on them, more of the decoration. We will also be doing more of these journaling notebooks. We will be doing more of these larger notebooks that I've been putting together. I'm still working on this idea, but these have snap closures, has multiple books inside, has pockets that are sewn in, and so there's going to be more of these. Um, but stick with me. Let's craft together. Let's learn together. And if you have anything that you really would like to see, anything that you would like to know about, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know. And like I said, these little mitts, that's next.